the Ryzen 7 9800X3D is officially the new king of gaming and streaming PC CPUs. And while I usually recommend Intel processors for most streaming builds that I put together, I don't think that you can go wrong with this AMD masterpiece. So if you've made the decision that the 9800X3D is going to be your next processor, I'm excited to show you the best value to performance gaming and streaming PC build with that exact chip at its heart. Welcome back to the Pixel Pub. My name is Devin. Here we help gamers, streamers, and content creators game more and stress less about their tech. Now, I created a video for the 7800X3D just like this one last year, and honestly, that build still holds up really well. Most people don't need the 9800X3D, but if that's what you're going with, this is the video for you. My good friend and fellow content creator, CloutShot, came to me with the request for an insane new 9800X3D build, so I figured that I needed to share the updated build with you too. So cheers to CloutShot for letting me help him put his new PC together, use his components to film the B-roll for this video, make sure you go and follow him on all of his socials. They are linked down below in the, in the description. Cheers. All right, let's build this PC. As you already know, we're laying the groundwork for the Ryzen 7 9800X3D, AMD's flagship eight core 16 thread chip that boasts 4.7 gigahertz clocks with up to a 5.2 gigahertz turbo. But what really makes the X3D chips from AMD special is the 3D, the super fancy 3D vCache magic that they put on top. Now, it's not that I've already had too much to drink, it's honestly just kind of a little bit over my head, but the way that I understand it is that regular cache is all spread out and flat on the chip. And it started to get so big that it got too slow for each side of the cache to communicate. The 3D cache literally became 3D. AMD stacked the cache on top of each other so that it was a shorter and quicker path to access all of the cache. All right, all right, maybe, maybe we do all need a little bit of a drink after all of that, but all you really need to know is that this is the best processor for gaming. Now we also need a motherboard to hold all of these pieces together. And for this top of the line CPU, we're going with a top of the line motherboard. This is the Asus ROG Strix B850A gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. First, because it's white and it's a must in an all white build, but it's not just good looking, it is stacked with features that streamers actually use. A two and a half gigahertz network port for max streaming bandwidth, PCIe Gen 5 for whatever GPU you're gonna want to put in this build and upgrade to in the future, and plenty of USB ports for all your webcams, capture cards, stream decks, and all of the rest of your peripherals. It's got everything that you need to keep the stream rolling. Motherboard pricing has been fluctuating quite a bit lately, just like all the other tech components. So make sure you check out all of the prices. They're gonna be linked down in the description below as well. To chill this bad boy out, you can't just throw in a couple of extra ice cubes. We're going to need something a little bit better. We went with the Tri-X Panorama 360 AIO. And you'll see why here in just a second. It does offer great temps, but an even more incredible aesthetic with the six and a half inch curved screen right over your processor. The ARGB fans are just an extra in this Times Square worthy CPU cooler. Let's be real though, when your rig is visible on stream, looks do matter. And this AIO is keeping the 9800X3D cool as well as your aesthetics on point. Streamers need at least 32 gigabytes of RAM, so we're putting in a kit of the amazing team group T-Force Delta Eco RGB DDR5 6000 mega transfers. This is actually the same RAM that I put 
into the Pixel Pub PC right behind me, and it has been running absolutely amazing. Either way, 32 gigabytes is going to give you plenty of headroom for running OBS, Discord, Chrome tabs, Music Bot, Spotify, all of that, as well as getting those post stream edits done in Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, whatever you prefer. And with that, we've got two terabytes of NVMe storage from Silicon Power. You are going to be set for storing all of your VODs because Twitch is deleting them all now, <laughs> gameplay captures, highlight reels, raw footage without skipping a beat. Not to mention all of the games that you're gonna be playing. Why are they all so big these days? This is one of those things that I tell people all the time. On one hand, it's really easy to upgrade later. Most motherboards have multiple NVMe slots so that you can always pick up an extra and slot it right in whenever you need it. But on the other hand, it's kind of like having a bigger beer fridge in your basement. If you don't have it when you need it, you're just gonna be stuck having a bad time. <laughs> now we're about to talk about the GPU, but I also just wanted to mention that lighting is also really important when it comes to streaming, way more important than most people realize. If you're looking for the best lighting around, make sure you check out Geekodo Gamers. They've got everything from high-end studio lighting to LED panels to tube lights. They even made this microphone arm that I'm using. Make sure to check them out using my affiliate link down below. Use code DDT10 for a 10% discount on the entire store. Now onto what everybody is waiting for, the best GPU to pair with the 9800X 3D. And for all of you that skipped right to this moment, I know who you are, you all really missed out. Let me tell you, this video got wild. You're gonna wanna watch everything that you just skipped over. Also, I put a lot of time and effort into these videos. You should, you should probably go back and watch it or, or at least like, like and subscribe to the video or something. All right, let's pour out three specific flavors for this GPU, each of them with a little bit different finish. So I'm gonna start off with the PNY Accelerate RTX 4070. So this is GPU is a little bit older, but I really like it right now, especially for some high-end 1080p gaming. This is going to be perfect to get you all of the frames that you need for esports titles, like Valorant, Fortnite, Warzone, Rocket League, League of Legends, any game like that. This GPU has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. We're not putting up with eight gigabytes anymore. Just don't do it, especially when pairing it with the 9800X 3D. This is the GPU that CloutShot ended up going with, and it is going to be an amazing fit for this PC. Next up, we have the Zotac RTX 4070 Ti Super. If you want to take it up a notch to 16 gigabytes of RAM, the 4070 Ti Super is probably still your best bang for your buck for 1440p streamers who still want that smooth NVIDIA NVENC encoding. This has been my go-to GPU for months and months now, as long as you can find one at a decent price. And then to top it all off, we've got the Gigabyte Aero RTX 5070 Ti. If you can find one of these at MSRP, please don't buy from scalpers. The 5070 Ti is also a really great choice. It gets you the newest generation of GPUs from Nvidia while still not having to necessarily overpay for something like the 5080 or 5090 if you don't need them. Although if you can afford a 5080 or a 5090, the 9800X 3D is not going to be bottlenecking those at all. You're going to be gaming in 4K with more frames than you know what to do with. And that fourth bonus GPU, because I know all of my AMD fans are going to ma get mad if I don't talk about it, the 9070 XT. Right now, it's an amazing GPU. Stellar performance at 1440p, ultra settings, you're getting the 16 gigabytes of VRAM, and now completely and fully ready for AV1 encoding. Great for YouTube streamers, as well as video editing at least. And that brings us to our regularly scheduled plea to Twitch to please just turn on AV1 encoding, like please. Either way, any of these any of these cards has its own place in the Pixel Pub. Choose your poison based on the games that you're playing, the quality that you wanna play it at, and the goals for your content creation journey. All right, we're almost done with this build, so I'm gonna finish it up quickly. For our power supply though, we don't want to get it wrong. For this one, we're going with the Corsair RM750E. 
Fully modular, very quiet and reliable. 750 watts is a pretty solid sweet spot right now for this setup. But if you want room to grow down the road, upgrading to an RM850 is only about an extra $30 more, but make sure this matches your graphics card. This power supply specifically also comes with the 12 volt connector if you have one of the newer GPUs that needs that. So make sure that whatever power supply you go with, you're getting that 12 volt connector if your GPU is asking for it. And to round out this whole build, see what I did there? Housing all of this streaming power is the Montec King 95 Pro. It's stylish, roomy, it comes with all of these fans included. So your hardware is not going to be overheating mid-raid. This case was an absolute pleasure to build in, made cable management really, really easy, and is honestly perfect for anybody who wants to build a really, really clean looking PC for your stream. And we can't have a beautiful build like this without some clean cable extensions. For another $20, it just really, really levels up the look of the whole build. Just look at how good this looks. All said and done, depending on what GPU you go with and what kinds of prices we're gonna be seeing over the next couple of months, this build will probably run you anywhere between $2,000 and $2,500. But for that price, you're getting a PixelPub certified top shelf streaming PC crafted right here for all you streamers and creators. Whether you're hosting just chatting nights, climbing the Twitch ranks or editing full blown YouTube content, this build is gonna help you get the job done. If you're interested in seeing the whole PC come together, make sure you check out the stream where Cloutshot and I built it live together. We had an absolute blast doing it. Uh, we'll see you over there. Cheers.